we've all had a chance to get to know and fall in love with Style Color. And because of its flexibility, we've discovered that we can play with something new, contouring. Now contouring has been around for a long time, as we all know. We use it in makeup, and we even use it with permanent color. But with permanent color, as the hair grows, the contour changes, so you're faced with the original problem that you had, or you're starting to create a whole nother problem. Style color can help erase that challenge. Today we're gonna to be working with Johanna. Now, for Johanna, we really want to accent the lip area. So let's take a look at her face. We can see she's got beautiful cheekbones, but we still want to bring all the attention to the lip line. So we have to do a little bit of work here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to add our frosted brown in the cheek area, and that'll diminish the width of the cheek. And then we're going to add uh, velvet berry just from the tips down in the bottom of the hair and almost drawing a line to the lips and that's really going to make those lips pop. So I'm going to start by taking a diagonal back section, leaving just really that front out. I'm going to pin that back. And then I'm going to take another diagonal. I'm going to pin this away. And I'm going to start in here with my velvet berry, applying it to the tips and working my way up. So let's take a look at what we've been able to achieve. By adding frosted brown to, from the temple to the cheek, we were able to really decrease the attention to the cheekbone and then by adding the velvet berry to the ends, from mid shaft to the ends, again, draw the attention to the jaw and the lip line, and really makes that lipstick pop. So now, not only can we use style color to change everyday hair color, but we can use it to contour or create focal points the way we did with Johanna's lip.